Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to also focus on the PTE listening. PTE listening is the last module in the PTE exam. It's not difficult, is really straightforward, but people find it difficult, especially in terms of concentration, because for me, that is what you need. You're being assessed for your listening skills. Just as the name goes listening, it means that there are a series of audios that you're supposed to be listening to, and guess what? You can't play those audio twice. You have to listen to them once. And the PTE listening is that module that has the highest number of tasks. Yeah, it has eight tasks. Unlike the speaking module that has got five tasks, the reading module has five tasks as well, while the writing module has two tasks. But for the PTE listening, you've got eight eight tasks that make up this module. Of all those tasks, that's the eight of those tasks, four of them will give you more scores than the other four. However, if you're looking for a high score in the Pearson Test of English exam, let's say it scores like 79, then you would have to focus on all the tasks. I know that there are, um, those other tasks, the remaining four, will not give you so much marks like the first four that I'm going to be uh, talking about in this module. But you still have to try, you still have to make efforts to ensure that you pass all those tasks. For all the eight tasks, you would have to listen to audio. And those audio, some of them, um, most of them will range, will range from one accent to the other. It could be Indian, it could be an Australian, it could just be random accents. So you'd have to like pay attention. If you pay attention, you'll be able to get the answers to those stuff. They're not difficult. Now, before I forget, one very important thing you need to know about the PTE listening is that for you to get a high score for this module, you would have done very well in your PTE speaking. There's a particular task in the PTE speaking known as the repeat sentence. That one as well, you would listen to an audio and you're supposed to repeat exactly what you hear the audio say. So if you do very well in that task, it will be contributing heaps of marks, about 40 marks or so, um, to your PTE listening. So that is from that is where you begin to do well in your PTE listening. Okay, so if you do well from that in that task from the speaking module, then you come over to the listening module itself. Then you do well in the four tasks I'll be listing out here very soon. Then you'll be able to ace a very good score for your PTE listening. The four tasks in the listening module that you need to focus on will be summarized spoken tests, listening fill in the blanks. Now I'm being specific about the word listening fill in the blank because we know that in the reading module we've got two fill in the blanks. So this one is listening fill in the blanks. Then we'll have highlight incorrect word. Yeah, don't confuse it with highlight correct summary. This is highlight incorrect word and then the chief of them of which is right from dictation. Now, if you do not manage your time very well from the beginning of this module, um, no, let's say after the summarized spoken test because summarized spoken test is usually the first task. If you can manage your time, you can get to the last task, which is right from dictation. That task contributes heaps of scores to your PTE listening as well as your PTE writing. But people do not get up to the that the last task or they do one or two. Usually you have three or four. So if you can focus on these four tasks, especially if you're looking for 65 or band 7, like people would always say, then be sure to get that score, even as well as some um, 79, okay? So PTE listening is actually not difficult. If you understand the tasks that would give you a high score and then you focus on them, you can get a high score you need. Now let's go over to my laptop. Let me show you the task and talk a bit about them and how you can go about them. All right, guys, so this is it. We're talking about the listening, uh, the PTE listening, which is actually the last module in the PTE exam. So you can see here the listening, and you can see that um, it's got eight tasks, like I've already said. So we have the summarized spoken test, the multiple choice, choose multiple answers, the fill in the blanks, the highlight correct summary, multiple choice, choose single answers, single answer rather. So let me see word and highlight incorrect words. Then the last one is right from dictation. And I said that four of them will give you more marks than the other four. Now let's look at those four that will give you more marks. We have the summarized spoken test, the fill in the blanks. Don't confuse it with the fill in the blanks in the reading. This is listening, fill in the blanks. Then we'll have the highlight in Korean words and right from dictation. This task will help you pass your listening. Recall that you have to also do well in the repeat sentence if you want to have a high listening score especially if you want to score 79, okay? So these are the things that, these are the tasks that you need to focus on 
in your pity in listening. Now that doesn't mean that um, you should ignore the multiple choice, um, choose single answer or multiple choice, choose multiple answers, especially if you're aiming for a very high score. They are also important. You know, like I always say to my students, just one score or one mark can be a game changer. It might be that score that you need that will get you to 79. I mean, I've seen some students that will have 78 or some students that will have 64. You know, that's really sad. So if you can actually do these other tasks, the four other ones that are not so important, and you know their answers, why not? Just click on the answers and just go ahead. Now, this is what the summarized um, spoken test looks like. I'm not just going to go further to... Um, During this audio. period... Like you, you have um, you should, you're going to be writing. So this task will also contributes because of the PTE writing. You would hear an audio. I'm supposed to take down notes while the audio is going on, and you're supposed to type it out here once the audio finishes. Um, yeah. Then we have the other task, like the fill in the blanks. This is how this one looks like. Um, you actually listen to an audio. Green and you're chemist. To start um filling in these blanks from the audio. So there are two ways. Either you type straight into this blank or you write out the answers in your jotter. Okay. You have to find out the ones that work better for you, especially during your practice time. So you see why you cannot just go into the exam and write this exam when you don't know what the tasks are like. I've met people that say, oh, I just started to write the exam. It's not English language. Yeah, it's English language, but there's need for you to practice. If you practice, you would know what to do. Um, then let's look at this other one. You're looking at the four important ones. This is what it looks like. You'd also listen to an audio. And what are we going to find out? You're supposed to identify um, the words that are different from what the audio is saying. Then the last of them all will be the write from dictation. It's one of my favorite um, tasks in the PTE. Tomorrow's lecture. Sentence, and you're supposed to type the sentence here in this blank here. And for every right word you get that was said in the audio, you get a mark for it. Now, this task is so important, extremely important, because it can boost your writing score. The PTE writing itself doesn't have a lot of scores. In fact, this task would even give more scores to the PTE writing than it would contribute scores to the PTE listening where it belongs. So basically, these are the tasks that can help you pass your PTE listening if you're not looking for a very high score. Let's say you're looking for 50 or you're looking for 65. These four tasks can help you. But if you're looking for 79, you have to take all the tasks seriously. And you also need to do very well in the repeat sentence in the speaking. I, I hope this will help you. If you have any question, do not hesitate. Just leave it in the comment section and I will respond to you. Thank you so much for always tuning in to my channel. Um, and it's always a pleasure having you here. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.